right, so we're going to start at the back of our mats. Feet are hip distance apart. Shoulders are back and down. Notice your feet grounding into the mat. And inhale to a count of four. One, two, three, four. Holding for four. And exhaling to the count of five. Inhale to three and exhale to the count of four. And then slowly walk your hands out into a plank. Inhale and exhale through your mouth. And then walk your hands back to your feet and slowly roll to standing. So we're going to do that again. Once you get set, go ahead and inhale to the count of four two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, five, letting it all out. Inhale to a flat back, two, three, and exhale, two, three, four. Walk your hands out into a plank. Inhale and exhale. And then walk your hands back to meet your feet slowly roll up your head should be the last thing nice job all right walk to the top of your mat we're going to do a little bit of shaking this part can be kind of silly it feels silly it looks silly but it feels quite nice for the body so what we're doing here is getting the cortisol moving we're getting any adrenaline moving um, just listen to your body here have fun with it whatever you feel like you need to do if you need to do some jumping jacks uh, any, whatever your body feels like doing, just let it be silly and let yourself move. And when you're ready, go ahead and come back to the top of your mat if you've moved and roll out your neck. Just being super mindful, not to go too far. It's easy to pinch a nerve doing this. All right, and we're going to do some more of our breath work. So inhaling to the count of four, three, four, holding for four, and then exhaling for the count of five. Inhale, two, three, to a flat back, and exhale, two, three, four. Go ahead, you can step or hop those feet back. We're coming into a downward facing dog, inhaling, and exhaling out your mouth. Shifting forward into plank, go ahead and jump or step your feet up and slowly come to stand. All right, we're going to shake it out again. And this time, as you flail, I don't, I'm thinking of the word, <laughs> let your hands and your palms gently tap against your body and just become aware of that sensation as your body connects in different ways. I found my body has become addicted to this movement when I'm feeling stressed. I'm often like, I just need to shake it out a little bit. <laughs> or as Taylor Swift says, just shake it off. All right, come back to standing. Inhale to the count of four. Hold for four. Exhaling for five, which is calming down the nervous system. Inhale to the count of three and exhale to the count of four. Step or hop back into downward facing dog. Inhale and then exhale out your mouth. And then very slowly, as slowly as you can, tiptoe up to meet your hands. Notice that nice stretch in the back of your legs. Heel toe your feet out to the edges of your mat. We're gonna drop down into a nice little squat here, keeping your chest lifted. Inhaling and exhaling deeply. And then slowly straighten your legs, turn your toes and knees back to the front of the mat, heel toeing to hip distance and slowly roll up. 
All right, we're gonna go ahead and pick up the pace. So come to the top of your mat. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, dive down, forward fold. Inhale to a half back. Exhale, forward fold. Jump or step your feet back, coming into a downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg up. Exhale, stepping it forward in between both hands. Pause here as you inhale and exhale. And then go ahead and inhale your hands up, coming into a crescent lunge and exhale. As you lower your hands, inhale and exhale. Then inhale your right hand up to the sky. Exhale, place it back down and step your right foot back to downward dog. Same thing on the left, inhaling left leg up, exhaling, placing it in between both hands. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, hands up into crescent lunge, exhale. Inhale your hands down and exhale. Inhale your left, left arm up, exhale your left arm down. Place your left foot back, coming into downward facing dog. Look forward, jump or step your feet forward and slowly roll up. Nicely done. All right, and again, inhale your hands up to touch. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to a half lift. Exhale, hands down. Step or hop back, this time to plank. Chaturanga Dandasana into upward dog. Exhaling into downward dog. And then slowly hinge forward, dropping those knees down. Spread your knees as wide as the mat, sinking your hips back onto your heels, coming into an extended child's pose. So you can place your hands wherever you'd like, down at your side. They can be stretched out completely. We're tapping into the breath. We're tapping into the body. So go ahead and just run through your body and notice if there's any tightness. Uh, a lot of times people will feel tightness in their throat, in their chest, in their stomach. So just spend some time here tuning in to the body. We can drop the narrative. We don't need the story. Let's just listen to what our body is trying to tell us. You're welcome to stay in this position, or if you'd like, you can go ahead and flip over onto your back for our final resting pose. Your palms can be lifted up towards the sky, or you can keep them grounded on the mat. Just see which one feels best for you, which one feels right today. And if you have identified a place in your body that feels extra tight, that might be holding some of this anger or residual emotions in it. I want you to send your breath and your awareness to that spot. And over the coming days and weeks and months, tap in to that space, to that place in your body to see what it needs. Because I can tell you this, it doesn't need more thoughts or more words. It needs attention. It needs awareness. A lot of times breath work sent intentionally to that area can help. And just having an awareness that that's where we hold a lot of our tension. And then whenever you're ready, you can wiggle your toes and fingers, come up into seated. It's been a pleasure practicing with you today. My name is McKenna with Move and Meditate. Namaste.